We're back for about three episodes, and already we ran into Filler Island. We just got back. We just got back a few episodes ago from a long stretch of filler, and three-fourths of this episode was filler. Now, I do gotta say that the way the filler was handled, that, that's probably one of my second or third favorite fillers in all of Shippuden, the Utakata stuff, so I wasn't totally disappointed, but the fact of the matter is, regardless of what, it was disappointing to run into filler, that three-fourths of the episode was pretty much no plot progression, didn't really say anything that we didn't already know. We knew about Utakata, how he ran into pain and got fucked up. They did handle the fight well. I will say that. They handled the fight between Utakata and Pain very well. And it actually looked pretty dope to see. So I'm not going to front on it. I will say, you know, the good and the bad. But nonetheless, it was filler. The main parts of the episode that we did get that was canon was the very beginning, the crash into the helmet, which by the way, the animation, I want to dive into that real quick. The animation was actually surprisingly not all that bad throughout the episode. There were some really bad parts, especially the beginning when they kind of crashed into each other, when they reanimated it, because at the end of the episode where they actually uh, crashed into each other, I think it was last episode, it actually didn't look that bad, but in this one, they kind of couldn't get it right, and Toby's mask definitely was off, but then and throughout the rest of the episode, especially the Utakata filler, wasn't all that bad, the animation. And towards the end, the animation wasn't all that bad as well. It was actually looking pretty decent, aside from select little character designs that were kind of off here and there. But the fluidity of the movement wasn't all that bad. So I gotta say that animation was definitely one of the higher quality aspects of this episode, if any at all. Because, nonetheless... Filler. That's the best way to put it. Like, the parts that we did get that were decent were alright. They were good, whatever. But three-fourths of the episode was Naruto talking to Utakata, telling him, You don't gotta do this. You can break free from this. Like, why are you even telling him that? He can't. Even if he wanted to, he can't. There's no way he can do it. He's Utsukata, he's not Madara Uchiha. Definitely was a lot of wasted potential with uh, those particular parts. The Utsukata filler that was actually, you know, kind of heartfelt and it made you feel for the character. But... It really, I felt as though it was very unnecessary to showcase almost the entirety of that in this episode. It was like we didn't really need all that. The fight with Pain was cool and all, the, you know, six paths of Pain versus Utakata, but it really wasn't all that necessary to showcase it, especially in the middle of this, especially getting back from nine million years of filler. The ending of the episode where Toby pretty much says, I'm no one, and since now he got busted that the other moderator is out, he's like, you could go back to calling me my old name, Toby. I don't want to be anyone. I just want to go into this crazy world. Makes you really question this guy's mind frame and if he's actually okay in the head. And the little bits of fights that we did get with Naruto and B versus some of the Jin Turiki was actually kind of cool looking. We didn't really get too much to actually even judge on, but it was looking a little bit decent from what we did get. Overall, the episode, though, I'm disappointed because we did not come back from a million years of filler to get three-fourths of this episode filler. Regardless of some of it was enjoyable on a critical standpoint, it definitely wasn't nothing that we needed, and we didn't progress at all, really, outside of Toby just starting to spew out bullshit and pretty much not really moving anywhere. You know I'm disappointed when one of the only pluses of the episode was subpar to decent animation. Give the episode a 5 out of 10. It was an average episode because while it did have a lot of its flaws, it did have a couple good things. Again, the animation being one of the pluses. That aside from a couple of character designs being off here or there in the beginning, it was uh, mostly pretty decent with the animation. And also the little bits that we did get gets a little more into who this guy Toby really is with him kind of saying, I'm no one. I don't really want to be anyone. And also seeing the flash aspect of it was indeed Madara Uchiha in the coffin that Kabuto was kind of teasing at Toby with back in the uh, flashback. So we got a little bit more with those particular parts, but for the most part, we didn't get much at all aside from this Utakata and Naruto flashback filler. Let me know what you think. Were you disappointed with the filler? I mean, again, even if it was somewhat enjoyable, it still doesn't give back to the fact that we didn't progress anywhere. And it was filler. We do not need filler. I don't want filler. I don't think anyone wants filler at this particular point after suffering through months and months of it. And I just felt like it was misplaced and a uh, bad timing to have something like that when we just got back from a shitload of it. And this Toby guy, do you think that he really is just absolutely crazy at this point, whoever he may be, saying, you know, I'm no one. I don't want to be anyone. At this point, I think almost everyone knows who he may be. But on the off chance that you don't, do you think that he He's just some nut job that we don't know. Just your overall take on that, getting those few bits of lines that we did get at the end where he was saying stuff like that. And your overall thoughts of the episode. Again, 5 out of 10. Average episode, but um, very disappointed. That's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Thumbs up if you can't wait to get a full solid canon episode of Fnet World. And as always, people.
have an awesome day.